Hi guys and girls, my name's Natasha. I'm a TV presenter, host and author. I used to host a late night radio show as an agony aunt under the alias of Nikki Nehru. I help people with breakups, I've helped people with proposals, rejection and given some people the confidence to take a chance and find true love. After a lot of convincing, I've decided to make a series of short videos for all of you who are looking for love. You may have met someone and aren't quite sure where you stand. You may be on the lookout to meet someone but are so badly scarred from your previous relationships that you don't trust your own judgment anymore. Whatever the case, I'm here to give you the guidance that you could possibly need to make sure you score on your first date. In a good way, of course, not X-rated. So let's kick off with the first date. It's obviously nerve wracking for some. Some people take to it like a duck to water and some consider it like a war in the Game of Thrones where the victor ends up with a second date. Now I've met a lot of people in my life and here are five no-nos that you should never ever do on a first date. Now, this is for the online daters amongst you. Number one, you never ever ever say, ew, you don't, anything look, you don't look anything like your picture. I know that we live in a world where everyone loves their filters, so get to know that person as in the person in front of you. And do not judge a person solely by their picture. However, if you are sitting in front of a granddad and he used a picture from his wonder years, then you are fully within your rights to walk the heck out of there. Number two, I'm a big believer of manners and if you burp, fart or start talking about your ill-functioning bodily organs, then you need to see a doctor, my darling, and not be on a date. Number three, okay, it's a matter of fact that most women want a man with a job. However, if anyone asks me how much I earn, it truly makes my blood boil. Truthfully, this question alone makes you look like a shallow gold digger if you do ask it on the first date. Finding out what a person does is absolutely fine. Finding out if they work two, three or ten jobs is also fine. But those who ask how much you bring home just makes you and makes, well, makes you look cheap on the first date and the person asking will always come across as a low class gold digger who clearly has zero manners. Save the salary conversation for when you're actually serious about each other, not before people. Number four, if you're in a restaurant, never ever ever snap your fingers at the waiter or waitress. You look pretentious, you will look rude and you will look arrogant. It's not just feedback from your date, but I'm sure the one serving you will appreciate your manners too. Five, and lastly, and well, lastly, I should say, first dates and meetups can be daunting. And I know a lot of people turn to a glass of alcohol for confidence. Can I just say, getting plastered isn't cool, it's not attractive and makes most mature people come across as dependent on alcohol. You look childish and you also look like you're lacking in confidence. So make sure you take care of your alcoholic intake and if you're a young student who is enjoying life, this doesn't apply to you. Once you get into the world of work and paying bills, keep this all in mind. There you have it guys and girls, I hope this video has given you some valuable tips on what not to do on a first date or a meetup. If you like what you saw, be sure to like this video, follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Good luck to all of you who are on your first dates and I'll see you right back here very soon. Rabra Kha, Khudafis, Namaste, take care of yourselves.